Got another email with a question about a segment we did a few shows back on making yeast starters. And this one's from Tim, upstate New York, up near Watkins Glen, one of my favorite places. Tim writes, I loved your segment on yeast starters, but I really can't afford to buy all that laboratory equipment that you have. Is there a better way for me without having to spend the almighty dollar? Well, <laughs> Tim, absolutely. Yes, I love my Erlenmeyer flasks and my stir plates. I think they do a fabulous job at what they're supposed to be doing. And that's making a mini wart converted into a yeast growing mechanism. But do you have to have all of that equipment? Of course not. You still have to sanitize your water and you need to put your DME into your water and boil it up real good so that all the horrible, nasty bacterias and other microorganisms are killed. Then, grab yourself a growler or some kind of container that holds a quart or two quarts. This one happens to be a two quart container. Basically equates to a two liter container. Sanitize this real well. And then all you've got to do is add the wort that you just created, that little mini mixture. Put your yeasts in. Grab a piece of sanitized aluminum foil and cover the top. There you go. You can shake it up real good because we want to get a little bit of that oxygen into that wort so that it has better yeast work. But now, for basically no cost of flasks or stir plates, you have got a yeast starter. I would recommend, periodically through the day when you can get to it, give it a good swirl. It works up the yeast into it and it helps it work a little better. So Tim, I think this will work for you. <laughs>